many, many, many things. In fact, I can't even tell you all the things because we don't have enough time. I'm going to tell you a bunch of them. You want to work on conductivity. And by the way, very bright to use those digestive enzymes. And also somebody's giving you some good advice with the taurine, too, because that's also important for the heart and electrical conductivity. But the most important nutrients for the heart and electrical conductivity are the electrolytes. Potassium and calcium and magnesium, you'll get those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine in abundance. Same with the B vitamins, very important for conductivity, electrical conductivity. And again, you'll get those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine in abundance. You should be sipping on that stuff all day long. We all should be sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but especially if you have conductivity issues, electrical issues, heart issues, the electrical nutrients excel. That's where they, that's where they really shine is in, in, the, uh, in terms of heart health and brain health. Get on the BTT stat. I, uh, that means immediately. I, would be, I wouldn't be waiting a, a minute. I'd be sipping on it as soon as possible. Uh, also, you might want to take a B100 on a regular basis, maybe every few hours. That's a, a B100 capsule. And those are also very important for conductivity. Probably the mo- or at least one of the most important issues for conductivity issues is keeping, uh, is keeping sugar down. If you're uh, eating uh, refined carbohydrates, sugars, that's going to throw off conductivity. It'll also have some inflammatory uh, effects as well. And it may counteract some of the benefits you're getting from those enzymes. So weaning yourself off of sugars, breads, pastas, these are all the things we all have to do. But you just have to do it with more conscientiousness, with more attention. Uh, keeping yourself off of processed foods, refined sugars, refined flours, weaning yourself off of these kinds of foods by eating more protein, especially whey protein, if you can handle it. If you have any digestive uh, issues, those need to be corrected. That goes without saying. Probiotics would help you in that regard. And then essential fats, especially omega-3 essential fats, are very, very important, and also anything that you can do to support fat processing. So think electrolytes, think B vitamins, think anti-inflammatory strategies like weaning yourself off of sugars and refined carbohydrates. Make sure you're uh, uh, absorbing and processing fats and taking in essential fatty acids. Those would be all the things that I would be doing. So probably a lot more that you could do. As I say, working on the digestive system is also going to be important. Um, uh, probiotics, the bioluminescence nightly essence can be helpful. And then stay on those enzymes. There's tons you could do. But that's a, if, you do, if you do what I just told you, you should notice some dramatic results and pretty quickly. That's one of the neat things about electrical conductivity problems is you can make adjustments in the electrical nature of the body very, very rapidly. Oh, by the way, if you're not breathing correctly, that can throw off cardioelectricity as well. So make sure that you're practicing your deep breathing techniques. And if you have any stress going on in your life, psychological stress, mental stress, that can also cause electrical, pro- uh, electrical def- uh, uh, problems with the electrical energy in the heart as well. Does that help you, Danny? Yes, yes. There's I tons you could do, buddy. And I'm there- definitely going to get that beyond tangerine. Do it right away, man. You'll notice results really, really quickly. That's one of the neat things about electrical energy, as I say. You can make adjustments real quickly. Even deep breathing. Even just sitting down, getting that bio-breathing app that I talk about all the time, if you have a smartphone or my calm beat, can make a significant difference on the electrical conductivity of the heart. Thanks for your call, buddy. I hope we helped you out. Thanks, Danny. Okay, moving on. Robert in Colorado, welcome to the Bright Side. What's on? What's going on? Robert? Hello, man. Hey, buddy. Oh, sorry. I didn't, hey. answer, didn't hear that. What's um, that. Oh, I'm just sitting here wondering if I have a detox problem. I seem to have uh, my pores on my back keep clogging up and blackheads? almost like. You got blackheads? No, not blackheads. It just seems like, uh, you know, little, little almost sores and scabs healing over. And I, uh, okay. I'm scrubbing them up with the loofah. I've been, uh, I'm on the. You want to know uh, why that's uh, happening? No, uh, loofah is, that's a great idea. Alpha hydroxy acids can help you topically. Retinoic acid, retin A from the doctor can help you. But we want to know why that's happening. Now, right. there's two things that could be going on. I said it's not blackheads or whiteheads, so I'm going to assume it's not the first thing. If you have clogged pores that are following oil production, you want to think about cortisol or the adrenal glands. This is the number one reason why people have either oily skin or blocked pores or clogged pores is excess uh, activity in the adrenal glands. That means stress. And I'm not just talking mental stress or, or psychological stress, but also physiologic stress. And sugar is one of the major physiologic stressors. That's for folks who are getting blocked pores because of oil. Now, that doesn't sound like you. What it sounds like you're dealing with is more of an immune system issue. Issue. So whenever you have an immune system issue and, and rashes, bumps, um, any kind of skin defects, that's, that's really what you want to focus on is immune system problems, defensive reactions. When you have defensive reactions, that causes microscopic inflammation because the skin cells are growing so fast, microscopic inflammations tend to show up quickly on the skin. So rashes, bumps, 
itching uh, on the back or on the face or on the arms or legs sometimes. Focus on immunity. Immunity is defense. When you have a defensive problem, that means you have an offensive problem. If you have an offensive problem, you've got to figure out what is getting into the system that's causing the offense, and that almost always means food, Robert. So I'd be focusing on foods. That means looking for digestive problems, looking for heartburn, looking for gas, looking for bloating, looking for loose stools, constipation, a discomfort of any kind from your mouth to the other end, any kind of problems, and then linking those up to foods. That's the first thing that you want to do. Now, on the skin, what I find is... Oftentimes, fat malabsorption problems show up on the skin, and, and anybody who's had their gallbladder removed can attest to this. Once your gallbladder is removed, you're really susceptible to skin problems, and that's because you're not processing vitamin E and vitamin A, uh, and vitamin D for that matter, which are all very important, and omega fats, which are all very important for uh, keeping your skin healthy. So focus on the digestive system. Eliminate problem foods. Pay special attention to how you're processing fats. You may want to guzzle some, some fats and see how you feel. If you, if you guzzle a bunch of essential fatty acid liquid or take a bunch of essential fatty acid capsules and you don't feel good, you don't feel comfortable, that's a, that's a sure sign that you're not processing your fats correctly, at which point you want to start using the ultimate enzymes from Longevity, which contain bile salts. You may want to throw in some extra bile salts, pancreatin, apple cider vinegar after meals. And Robert, make sure you're using vitamin A supplements, 20,000 international units a day, and vitamin E supplements, 400 IU a day at least. You can take 800 or so. I take 1,200 for that matter. And then also, uh, uh, 12, uh, how much do you take on the vitamin E? Um, let's see, we'll probably do, I don't know, six big six. pills in the morning and well, six. That could be, I, that could be, you know, that doesn't really tell me what it is. But in any case, yeah, uh, vitamin, vitamin D also is very important. Hang tight, Robert, because I want to talk about vitamin D in the skin. That's a really underappreciated skin care vitamin. If you're on hold, we'll try to get you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. It's Tom Chenault from The Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 8326. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, six vegetable and black bean olive go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today eat them every day take them camping or save them for an emergency check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon that's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in oregon by oregon trail foods 30dayfoodsupply.com The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. G. All right, we're back on the bright side. Robert, I'm going to go real fast here. Are you there, my friend? Yes, I am. All right, vitamin D has got some really interesting roles to play when it comes to keeping skin cells growing correctly. It sounds like you may have a problem that way. You know, we look at the skin, we don't realize that it's made up of cells. Just like we look at the body, we don't realize it's made up of cells. And when you have any kind of inflammatory issue or nutritional deficiency issue, especially around fats and fat metabolism or something's getting into the body that shouldn't, that can throw off the way cells divide and grow in this, throughout the body, but especially in the skin. And that's what it sounds like is what's happening with you. Uh, so use vitamin D supplements and also make sure you're getting out out in the sun. That's really the best way to get your vitamin D. Just lay, if you can lay out in the sun, take your shirt off and, and get some sunshine on your back. That might make a big difference. But really focus on the immune system and the foods that uh, any kind of problems, foods, especially if you have a history of digestive digestive problems. I want to move on, Robert. Did I help you out? Yeah, this yes, sir. Take care. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Have a great day, man. Okay, let's move on to Carmen, who's been waiting for a long time. Carmen in California, welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Sure. I'm calling in regards to my grandson. Okay. He's uh, 19 months old. Okay. And uh, my daughter noticed that he has some uh, allergies. Okay. And uh, the doctor did some uh, testing, and his histamine level came in at 1900. And okay. the doctor says that uh, the normal is 90. No, 1900 is way off the charts. Now, here's the deal. You don't really need to have a doctor test. You can just tell by the, the kid's response. There's almost 100% guarantee that he's got something getting into his body through food. Is the, is the kid breast, is he breastfeeding the baby? Yes. Okay, yeah. the mom, does the mom have a history of allergies? That's the thing I would be asking, or food problems, because something is getting into the breast milk. Is, is the baby is solely breastfeeding, no, not solid food at all, right? No, 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 he's 19 months, so he's already oh, eating. Some he's solid, eating some yeah. solid food. Okay. Yeah, but so, still being breastfed as well. Okay, could be either way then. What you want to do is you want to go by the, by the child's responses to foods. That sounds like a food problem to me. So you want to look at look for loose stools or constipation um, or complaints, colicky kind of, compl- you know, where the kid rubs his belly or he cries after certain foods that he's eating, that kind of thing. It's almost always going to be a food problem. It sounds like, it sounds almost 100% like you've got a food issue there. So look for, look for digestive symptoms. Kids can also get on probiotics and mom can get on probiotics. In fact, mom should be using, if she's not, she should be using a probiotic supplement. Have mom uh, eat fermented foods as well. The bacteria will get into the milk and bacteria can have a tremendously stabilizing effect on intestinal health and help process foods. It could be something like a deficiency in bacteria for that matter. It doesn't have to be a full, it doesn't have to be a, uh, a food allergy, although I would say that it, there probably is some kind of food allergy component. Foods, br- uh, probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence for mom, and then you could use a baby probiotic as well, a liquid probiotic, or you can give the baby some borscht or perhaps some, uh, uh, some miso, some kind of fermented soup might be helpful as well. Anything you could do to stabilize bacteria in the gut for the baby, that's, that's the approach that I would be taking. Does that help, ma'am? Oh, for 
sure, for okay, sure, good. very much. So, good deal. Let me ask you just one question. Sure. Because I was doing a little bit of a research, and uh, uh, everything that I was reading was saying not to give him any protein. And everything I Not have give him any protein. The yes, exactly. Well, but, well, what they're thinking is that we, a kid has to have protein, but what they're thinking is that protein is the most difficult, or I guess fats are also difficult, but protein is, is difficult for some kids to process, for the digestive